Welcome to Guidebook of the Week. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another Guidebook of the Week. Uh, today, this week, this bi week, or whatever we want to call it, we have another instruction for you, another guidebook called the High Volume Manufacturing. So, this is meant to be something that uh, just shows the versatility of EKS. So, high mix, low volume, high volume, low mix, anything in between. You can do it, you can create processes for it, and there's different levels of interaction with computer screens, which I'm gonna show you today. Here again in my basement, definitely not hiding from everybody and everything in my safe space here. I did put a shirt on for you, you know, a nice fancy VKS shirt, so I did that. Uh, I am wearing shorts though, so, you know, just give me that a little bit there. All right, let's talk about this instruction, enough about me, right? So we've got our work instruction in front of us, and this is gonna be a blend, a mix of interaction, and not really interacting with the instruction. One of the cool things about VCAS is you can, you can make things kind of automated where it's gonna advance for you. And even if you're using something with like Tool Connect and, and you wanna have that be automated as well, you can do things like that. And that's one of the cool things about VKS, uh, the level of interactivity that you have with it. Do you have to mess with the computer? Do you have to swipe through that tablet or can you let it kind of run on its own and display things to you when things need to be filled out? So I've got our work instruction in front of us and our product that we are building. We're gonna hit the start button like normal. We have our production information. So we've got our work order tracking. You can see the production quantity is 2000 on this one. So this is a, definitely a high volume job. Now you could feed in work orders, of course, from a barcode scan. You could feed them in from a ERP system or any of that fun stuff. I'm just gonna scan in, I have like random barcodes here. So I'm just gonna scan in a random barcode and that's gonna be our work order number there. So we did that, scanned that in from a barcode. First stuff here you're seeing is setup. So we've got our setup items here and we can follow through with our setup and make sure everything is correct. And we can advance through our process. We've got workstation setup. We have where everything is supposed to be located and identified so we can see where our labels are, where our caps are, we can see where our different components are and we make sure that we have everything and we don't need to restock anything. We've got enough of everything to do the job or a big pile of the stuff at least, you know. So we've got all that. Oh, and then we've got a torque wrench in here as well. So talking about torque wrenches, you know, you can use a kind of standard torque wrench, a clicker, you can use an automated torque wrench or a, a uh, more connected torque wrench. It's connected to a controller and use our VCAS Connect module with Tool Connect. So there's different options and choices here. We'll talk a little bit about that as well. Going through our process, we place the part on the table, we inspect it. Oh, holy cow, we're starting to go through our process here. So here we are, I'm not touching the computer, right? We're going through our process step by step. Now you don't have to have this thing start to display and start to run right away. This is meant to be something where I kind of know the process already. You can on this, what we call the first cycle here, you can have it just display and, and go at the operator's speed and pace. So you can do that. And I like doing something like that. So the first time you go through it, okay, I see everything. And then after that, then it's gonna fly by here. But this is meant to be something where I'm rapidly building stuff, I'm rapidly working and it's gonna go through a show. It's gonna go through the different steps for me in order to show me what's gonna be done. In addition to that, there is some serial numbers and some things that we're gonna to have to scan in. So again, barcodes, love using barcodes for stuff. And I'm just gonna scan in some random things here like that. And then, cause I just have random barcodes sitting around and then we're going through our process step by step. And you're gonna see it move. I'm not touching the computer. You're gonna see it move. We've got some more barcodes to scan in. Let's scan in something else random here. I don't know, this one. This one looks good. Let's scan that one in. Now, now this is a point where we're tightening screws and maybe we're torquing stuff, right? So this is a case where you can connect stuff to the computer. You can use a torque wrench that's hooked up to a controller and use our tool connect module. You can make this more automated. This stopped right here for a reason and that's because I wanted to talk about it but you can make this more automated where I grab my torque wrench and I'm going bam, 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 and I'm going through and doing my torques and VCAS is advancing through the different torques as I am torquing. So more automation, right? Stack the parts as shown, okay, great, and now I'm going through my process. So again, hands off, hands free, I'm working. I don't have to be right next to the computer, I can look back. Now, if I have to look back at a previous process or a previous step, 
and then kind of flip around and go through and say, what was that last step? Or, hey, hold on a second, I need an extra second on this step. You can do that as well. So it's not gonna stop you from doing that, uh, but we're gonna go through at our standard pace. And this is gonna be the pace for our job. This is how fast they want me to put the tape on and all the fun stuff like that. And of course you can adjust those timers. This is something I should have said at the beginning. Those timers, five seconds, 10 seconds, a minute, whatever, you can adjust those to whatever you want. Scan in more barcodes, random barcodes being scanned in, and then we're going through our process again. Placing our wheels on, scanning in our barcodes, and we're going through our process, and we're starting to build stuff. Again, torquing, you can just have this advance like we did the rest of the stuff, automatic torque wrench, any of that fun stuff, so you can do all of that. There are some additional notification uh, forms that are in this, so we have some additional forms. There's one in here called the Anon Alert, and this, you could name it basically anything you want. It's like a notification form. So if I have an issue, if I have a problem, if I have something I want to discuss, if I have a continuous improvement idea, I can click on this and I can say, uh, what is, or who do I want to notify and, and what's my issue and, and things like that. You know, and, and so here I could say, oh, I want to notify my team leader. And I want to say, uh, my buddy, Matt, Matt Sampson, he's partner manager of VCAS. I want to say, Matt, just, looks too darn good. No matter what, this guy, if he has ponytail, long hair, short hair, whatever, he looks too good. You know, and then if you need to attach a picture of this, you can do this as well. Of course, I'm being silly right here. You would want to do this in an official context and say, I have an issue. Here's a picture of my issue. But just to, you know, just to have a little fun with life, we're going to do things. And because I feel like having a little bit of fun, we're going to do things like this. Attach any supportive files. You can take pictures with a tablet. So if you have an issue, you could grab a tablet and take a picture and, and upload that directly into VCAS. You can also upload stuff from a computer. So if I click on this, we'll see what happens. And it should take me right to a picture of Matt, I think. We'll see if it's gonna pop up or, yeah, it's thinking about it. It's, it's thinking about it. Oh, there we go. Okay, it finally did it. So then I'm gonna take my picture of Matt and I'm gonna upload that in there. So there's my picture of Matt and then I can save that. Uh, now, of course, when I save this, it's gonna get emailed to specific groups of personnel. So with each one of these, when I select something, you can have that email different personnel and send that notification and send that form and say, hey, team leaders, Matt just looks too darn good there. Look at this picture of him, no matter what this guy looks good. And all, but again, actual issues, damaged wheels, missing hardware, whatever, you know, you can always do notifications for items and you can send out those notifications to other groups of personnel or individuals. And that's all done through VKS here. It'll send out those emails. People will get those notices. Just like right now, somebody's getting an email with Matt's picture in there and the notice that he's too darn good looking. Anything, and on alerts, uh, continuous improvements, non-conformances. There's a form in here for non-conformance reports, any of that stuff. So anytime you have to record and or notify personnel of different activities or items, you can do that with MVCAS super easy. And the other cool thing is you can do it right from your workstation. Don't have to leave, don't have to run and find my team leader. I can do it right from here, right from my basement, hiding from everybody else, I can do that. And I don't have to actually go hunt down my team leader, right? So again, going through my process, I'll just let this go through one more time. I know it's, it's a bit of repetitive, but that's what it is. I'm building, what, 2000 units or something right here. So I go through and I build my stuff and then I'm going through and here we go again, through our same process. Over and over and over again, same process, high volume, and I know what I'm doing and I'm going at pace and I'm following through the process and if I ever need to refer to the process, it's right here for me. All right, thank you very much again for checking out this video. Thank you very much for listening to me this whole time. Hope you learned something. Hope this was a good, valuable video. Hope you laughed a little bit and look forward to some more cool stuff from us. And uh, what else am I going to show here? I got to show one more thing here. What is it? This thing right here. So thank you again. Thank you very much. And have a good rest of your day. Thanks for watching.